poor blood circulation is diagnosed with uh, clinical suspicion. Often a history of the patient will have evidence of this. The patient will suffer from pain on walking in their calf and legs, pain at night, pain at rest, and may have symptoms of vascular insufficiency, i.e. blood going to the foot is diminished. And this can be in the um, presence of tissue loss, ulceration, or gangrene. While examining these patients with insufficiency, pulses will be absent or diminished, and these signs of tissue loss will be present on examination. Other ways of diagnosing would be imaging, and this can be an ultrasound scan to look at blockages in the arteries and also measure flow. CT scanning, where one can see blood flow and contrast within the arteries, showing signs and symptoms of blockage. You may see an occlusion where there's no flow or reduced flow. And you can also see collateral circulation, i.e. the blood develops vessels around a blockage. And this is, happens when there's long-standing blockages. Other ways of looking are with angiography. This is when an artery or vein is punctured and contrast is injected and a road map of the leg is seen. And where there's a blockage, there'll be no flow. Where there is a blockage where the body has collateralized or compensated, you'll see flow around this. And this also aids which treatments we can offer for this.